What's up, everybody? Uh, we're going to do a drive through Branson, Florida after this Hurricane Idalia. Now, uh, there was some storm surge flooding in downtown, Palmasola, <laughs> Anna Maria Island for sure. Uh, but it wasn't this catastrophic thing uh, like what happened in Fort Myers with Hurricane Ian. So, uh, we were very fortunate here in Branson. Uh, that we got what we got. <coughs> I think the, they're going to keep the island closed because they did have some storm surge over most of the island. I think they said a SUV can get in, but um, cars cannot. I, I don't know how long they're going to keep the island uh, closed. In the case of Fort Myers, it was so bad that they kept the island closed for something like, I don't know, like a month or something. Uh, a lot of people on the streets at night, homeless, uh, kind of crazy. I, I cannot confirm if there were, uh, or there were not, were or were not any, uh, shelters open. There could have very well been, and they just didn't. There, you know, homeless people are mentally ill or incompetent or high, so they don't always make the best decision making. So, we're driving in a break, in a Palmetto now, so we're going to drive in the Palmetto and then drive back, um. We're going to get rain bands for the rest of the day, I think. Uh, but it's over for the most part. Uh, underneath us, there is a storm surge happening. Um, it's not as bad as what we saw in Fort Myers, man. When we, when we lived in Fort Myers was just... Uh, there, there's no words for what we lived in Fort Myers or Hurricane Ian. So we can say Branson got off pretty fortunate. Some individual houses in Cortez on the island definitely uh, didn't fare all that great. And I can see to the left of us some fairly powerful rain squalls coming in. It might actually hit us if we stay here a little bit longer. Uh, but you can see that the, you know, the water is a little bit out of boundary. It's starting to go down a little now. Uh, Tampa Bay, I'm sure, got the same thing. But it wasn't this catastrophic storm surge like with Fort Myers. God, it was, you know, just enough to inconvenience a few people. So we're in Palmetto now. This is on the north side of Branson. And uh, some of the boats did rock over. Let's come on over here real quick. Um, problem is that some people tie their boats too tight. You can see here... Um, this is overlooking downtown Bradenton, actually. You can see that there is a storm surge here. Um, just going to get out real quick. Uh, it looks like it might still be coming in. It looks like it's... Uh, it may not be going out. It may still be coming in. That's definitely not good. Um, yeah. Not good at all, actually. You can see some boats might have capsized over there. Um, this still looks pretty crappy, actually. Looks like a few boats. They, they, what happens is they tie them too, too tight. I don't know if security trying to tell us to leave. <coughs> I think what happens is they tie it too, too, too tight. Oh, there's a giant seahorse here. That's pretty cool. That shit looks pretty scary overlooking downtown Brandon from here. It looks like it may still be going on uh, in some way or another. You can see that boat dock's underwater. Down there. Sorry about the windshield wiper. Yeah, it looks like there's still some storm surge here. And uh, it may actually still be rising. Uh, if, if the wind keeps coming out of the south, it very well could rise. It could fall. It could do the same thing. 10 times over, but uh, there's downtown Branson. A few of these sailboats got knocked over, and it's probably because they tie them too tight or whatever. And then when the water rises, it sinks it. Amateur mistake. Okay, we're getting ran up out here, so we gotta leave. I think they're getting us to leave. All right, we'll leave. We'll get going. There's like a I don't know if it's police or uh, security for these apartments here, but they're they're not telling us to leave, but they're running around. So actually, the storm surge would have made it this far up. 
That looks like the storm surge meter this far up here. Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's uh, so. At some point, the storm surge may have actually been a few feet higher than what it is now, which means, yeah, there's storm surge flooding here. So we can assume that at some point, the storm surge would have actually came in the Palmetto. Look, yeah, that's all storm surge flooding. So it went down. Uh, at some point, it would have been way worse than what we're seeing here now. So Palmetto, Florida, would have definitely got. Uh, you know, there's some beautiful historic neighborhoods up ahead. I'm sure those neighborhoods would have also had some storm surge flooding. So the storm surge flooding is going to be extensive, guys. There's no, there's no getting around that. It was, it's going to be extensive storms. In fact, if you look ahead, they, they got the road closed because it's flooded over there. So, But uh, this video is supposed to be about Branson, but here am I in, in Palmetto. But anyways, Palmetto is right across from Branson, so it's understandable. They have a cute downtown, actually. Uh, don't come here at all. <laughs> I look cute down there, but don't let that fool you. <laughs> don't, don't let Palmetto fool you down there. Uh, there's a little bit of elevation to their downtown. It, it's a cute downtown. It really is. I still don't like Palmetto. Uh, Palmetto doesn't like me. It's not that I don't like Palmetto. It's that Palmetto doesn't like me. Ain't that something? But they do have a cute little downtown, and maybe I should make a nice video of their downtown. But, uh, well, there's more than just downtown going on here. It's it's a little, uh, a little bit of palmetto going on here. And there are some beautiful historic neighborhoods as well. Um, but let's get going back to Bradenton. You know, this area, I'm sure Tampa Bay had the same issue. Uh, I'm sure, uh. You know, St. Pete and up along the coast. Uh, I can't even think about Ang uh, Indian Town and all that, but we had some complications, unfortunately. They boarded up that house. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, wind could have been a problem too, but it was a storm surge. For Palmetto, like the core of the city is actually pretty. It's like, it's just this is pretty, and then the rest of it's Palmetto. And to the right of us is a beautiful historic area. But let's get up out of here. This car doesn't stop. Okay. Didn't know stop sign. Alright. Uh, yeah, get the crap out of Palm Ghetto and head over to Braden, Kentucky. And by the way, Braden, Kentucky is west of 75, or I think east of 75 is Karen, Kentucky. Okay? I don't live in. I don't live, I, somebody's like, you live in Braden, Tucky. I was like, no, 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 I live in Karen, Tucky, okay? Lakewood Ranch, buddy. And they hate that. Like, that's one thing people in Palmetto hate about me. They hate that I live in Lakewood Ranch. They hate it. They're like, you take the pep down, stank. I'm like, well, I pay extra money to live over here. There's a reason why I pay for it. Could crap go wrong for me in the future up in Palmetto? Hopefully not. But it could happen. You know, enjoy it while it lasts is what I say. Hopefully it lasts a long time. Cause I'm mean, gonna tell you what. All right, let's go into Bradenton. We're gonna cross the Ohio River here into Bradenton. Uh, there's actually homeless camps right here on the left of us in the mangroves. Horrible crap. Oh, I got another homeless camp video that I haven't even uploaded. There's so many homeless camps in Florida that I'll, I'm doing homeless camp videos and I'm like, oh. Forgot to upload that homeless camp video. It still looks pretty scary on the water, and uh, there are going to be rain bands. Pretty scary. It's getting windy. You know, we got to go easy here on this bridge. Um, quite the situation in here this morning. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, I hope. I just really, really hope that the island. You know, the reason we, we moved to Bradenton is we can go to the beach three times a week. We do have a pool. A nice, beautiful pool. World-class pool. Not going to lie. But, you know, we moved to, to this area to enjoy the beaches. And now, uh, if we had a storm surge on the island, there's no telling how long we could be without beaches. And that, I'm going to have to talk to the manager. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, I'm going to have to talk to the manager about that because uh, 
Well, there's a reason I moved to Braden. It was windy. It's like knocking my car off, off track here. There's a reason I moved to Braden, Tucky. I'm sorry. Karen, Tucky. I don't in Braden, Tucky. I'm in Karen, Tucky. I don't live in Braden, Tucky. I live in Karen, Tucky. Let's be clear about that. Could have been so much worse. Oh my, after I, when I saw Fort Myers after Hurricane Ian, I was like, oh my, what on earth? What on earth, man? When I saw Fort Myers, it was shocking, you know? Like, the whole downtown was in four, to, four six feet of water or something, you know? Naples got two feet of water in their downtown, so I will say this. Um, the elevation, some of these places here in Bradenton despite the fact it's closer to the water you have to look at an elevation map there, there may be better elevation here in Bradenton than a lot of, there are actually in a lot of places uh, not in all places okay down there by that river down there I tell you what <laughs> but um it could be tornadoes for the rest of the day I hear there's a Starbucks open on 64 and 70 so We'll head there in a minute. No wind damage at all. It's interesting to see Brandon empty like this. And if you're not subscribed to my show, hit that subscribe button, man. Come on. Come on, man. Give my like, though. Come on, man. Give my like, though. Ooh, sign on the road. Okay. Come on, man. Give me my like, dog. Come on, man. Give my like, dog. Come on, man. Hit the subscribe button, dog. Come on, dog. I'm wondering what happened to all the homeless people. Are they still alive? They've been through worse. This is nothing for the homeless people of Branson. Me showing them sympathy. They don't show themselves sympathy. They're out there. They were out there like, I, I'm not even kidding. They were having a blast. I drove through uh, US 41. I drove through US 41 like at 3 or 4 in the morning and they were having a blast. You know, they were like riding their bicycles. I get to read up real good. What I'm thinking happened is that they read up for like 3 or 4 days just in case. And then they're like, oh, I only got 3 or 4 days supplies. Just. Go <laughs> out there and they make the best out of everything. Like that's not about homeless people. Like especially the young ones, they make the best out of everything. But here, this is. I hope there's nobody here right now. If there is, it would anger me. Did somebody really spend the hurricane out here on the streets like this? I hope not. You know. I hope not. Is there somebody really there right now? There is. Can you imagine that, guys? Can you imagine that? What's wrong with this picture, guys? Really? We have got to do better. We have got to do better. There's somebody sleeping on a bench there with a tarp over themselves. We have got to do better than this. I don't know what's right or wrong or what we can or can't do, but we have got to do better than that, people. We really do. There's just somebody sleeping with a tarp over themselves. We have got to do better than that, guys. Really? This is the United States of America? The greatest country? Really? That's not acceptable. What if that hurricane had been a, a you know, a landfall here? That's not acceptable. <coughs> There's an ambulance over here. I'm, I'm sure it's somebody that got hurt. They, they said earlier... Oh, I can't go through there. Okay. Uh, they said earlier that an 85-year-old woman was just on the road injured. Ooh, this car came flying at us. Okay. I don't like the way how fast this car pulled up on us. Let me get the crap out of here. I don't like how fast that car pulled up on me. I don't know if they all want the business or what. That was way too sudden. Let's, let's see what's on the street. 
Yeah, but they said uh, I don't know, police know that 85 year old woman just randomly laying somewhere with a head injury. 84 year old woman, who knows? Probably just somebody's wearing them all down there. <coughs> There, there were a lot of homeless people that spent the, the hurricane out on the streets, and it, it bothers me that we can't even... What if they had been, like, you know, St. Just Courts, and then you have, you know, they say there's only 180 homeless people in Brains, and get the crap out of here. There's got to be at least 1,000, 1,200 in Manatee County, from what I can tell. I think at least 1,200 in Manatee County, from what I can tell. Uh, got a little emergency here. Might have been the lady that hurt her head earlier. For their, oh yeah, somebody else was for sure. So yeah, that's what I thought. Caring neighbor for sure. Don't want to gossip too much. Very elderly person got hurt during the hurricane. They're helping him. Very caring community. Here we go, guys. Rain band. Very caring community. You saw the guy ran over to see how their neighbor was doing. Very caring community. And that's the thing about the hoods. People talk bad about the hood, you know. What's in the back seat? <laughs> somebody back there. People talk bad about the hood, bro, but, you know, is that a bag just flying around there? It's back there. Getting a lot of noise down there. You guys catch that guy running up to see how his neighbor was doing? <coughs> Elderly person with an injury. But, um, you know, people talk bad about the hood, but, you know, there are people in the hood that are solid man you know not every not everybody that lives in a poor impoverished neighborhood is is bad house for rent not that i'd move here though <laughs> not saying i'd move here hey but there are houses for rent guys and they were hard to find i've seen two for rent signs in brains and so it's starting to become more common and they didn't give me a rent increase they gave me a a thousand dollar credit for one month if i signed for another 12 months people did board up their houses in, in here and people protect what they have when they're poor and they don't have a lot and it's not insured by a bank it's insured by themselves <laughs> I guess a bank won't cover these older houses now that ain't right we got so lucky with this hurricane y'all have no idea how lucky we got now the island and the Maria Island we'll see we'll see what happened there it's going to be a little bit before we know um, just photos start coming out. Hopefully they open the bridges up again. We can get out there and see what happened on the island. Um, do we try going on the island? I'm not sure. We can take Cortez. We could try going out there. It was closed because of the storm surge, but it might just... They're not with all that stupidity. Like, you know, Lee County, Florida, the, the, the Lee County Sheriff is trying to get as much... They're trying to get as much clout as they can get. So they blow up everything out of proportion. But they're not going to blow up Bradenton out of proportion. Bradenton, they'll just open it up and let people trip over live wires and stuff. That'll be one less. I'm sorry, that wasn't nice. Hey, I got water here. Drink some water. I think I'm dehydrated. <coughs> we survived, Bradenton. We survived. We will survive. Da 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 da. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm stinky, I've been up all night, I'm wet, getting you guys these hurricane videos, and for some reason that it turned, Hurricane Ian blew up, man, that, that Hurricane Ian, that's the money we used to go to California, <coughs> Hurricane Ian blew up California, I got me to California, the Hurricane Ian videos got me to going all the way to California, but I'm going to tell you what, these uh, Hurricane Adalia videos might just get me a Starbucks or two at most. This just didn't blow up the, th the way I thought it would. Um, I really had higher expectations for this hurricane. And it very, really very much disappointed me. My shuttle trended a little bit, but not as much as I would have wanted. Uh, just the algorithm didn't pick me up, man. A lot of people stay in motels. There's a... Uh, there's a fight at a motel earlier. Somebody got stabbed. 
couldn't get the address. Two males, knife involved. Braid in Tucky. I will tell you, some of these homeless people wake up earlier than I do. More industrious than me. I don't know that. I don't know what the solution is to homelessness, but dang, at least at least during a hurricane, come on, people. I've seen a lot of people that just pass the hurricane in a, in a, on the streets homeless with a tarp over their head. Can you imagine that? That's, I don't... I don't know. There, there, sometimes I see things that really make me angry, and I know we can do better than that. Um, not even for a hurricane we can put these people inside la madre que los parió bro la madre que los parió let me see if they've opened up Cortez yet and if the flooding receded a little over here because I was here like at 4 in the morning and it looked like everybody was going to go for a swim let's see if now um, I don't know how long it's going to take for them to open up the island again I heard earlier you can get on the island if you had an SUV, but that's law enforcement talking between each other. <coughs> and uh, Manatee County will not... Oh, that roof fell right there. Dang, that building right there lost the roof. Okay. That sucks. Um, Manatee County, I heard them talking. They said they're not going to send help to Tallahassee. At least not yet, you know. They're gonna handle that. They gotta handle their own situation. But uh, they weren't too like. I, when I heard that, it wasn't like, yeah, we won't be able to send any help to Tallahassee. It was like, screw them. <laughs> you know, like, they ain't gonna get crap from us, Tallahassee. You ain't been helping us. You know what? You ain't been helping us. We ain't gonna help you. That's one thing that these Florida counties gotta learn. Like for example, with Hurricane Ian. Broward, Dayton, Palm Beach, St. Lee County, everything, fire trucks, I don't mean a little, I mean, there's a video on my channel of a caravan, I mean, stop traffic caravan of Broward, <coughs> just Broward County alone, going into Fort Myers Beach, so Lee County, very senseless piece of craps, man, Broward, Dade, Palm Beach, sent caravans, of equipment, caravans, not one or two, loads of people, bro, to help Lee County with Hurricane Ian. How does Lee County sink, right? How does Lee County sink them? Lee County Sheriff, a few months after they left, made a comment saying he doesn't want Lehigh Acres to turn into Lehigh Aaliyah. And I'm like, well, that's freaking sinkless. So here they sent you all this help. And then he went on another press conference and said, hey, we're not going to be Broward County and Dade County with all their crime. And I'm sitting here like, dang, bro. Oh, we got some wind coming through. Wow, okay. Wow. Yeah, these rain bands come through. They're not, they're not playing still. We're going to get heavy rain bands throughout the whole day. And some of these rain bands can be very significant. This one here is, uh, wow. This edge is going to crash into me. Oh, man, oh, no. Wow, look at this rain band right here. This looks like a dang hurricane. Let me tell you, dude, if it's like that here, I'm telling you, that, uh, they're going to get, wow, unbelievable. I don't even want to know what's going to happen in Tallahassee. They're going to get it bad. I mean, bad. If it's like this here, can you imagine if it's like this here and this hurricane's already gone? Imagine what it's going to be like where this thing lands. It'll really be bad. I think we're wasting our time driving to Cortez. It's probably still flooded. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Sign in the middle of the road. Excuse me, guys. It's been a long night.
<clears throat> but you know, so these counties over there, they sent this guy, I mean, hundreds of vehicles, if not more. I'm going to say hundreds just to keep it simple. And what does that guy do? Well, we're not going to be like Miami and Broward County with all their crime. Lehigh Acres isn't going to be high Lehigh. You know what the, the ironic... Oh, sorry, y'all. There's been a lot of... Uh, sorry, I can't help it. Stress. Stomach's all upset. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. You might not know. All those counties sent this guy hundreds of vehicles. Hundreds, if not thousands of volunteers that could have been patrolling their streets to help him in Lee County. And a few months later, that sank this piece of crap. Starts buying my from the people that a few months earlier sent him hundreds of people to help. You know? Who does that? You know what I mean? Who does that? I'm gonna guess it's probably still gonna be close. I'm, unless the storm surge receded and they're gonna let you cross, they might because there's, they didn't, I don't think there were evacuation orders to the island. I'm not sure. <coughs> I'm probably just stressed out. Lack of sleep. Stress. Um, got my stomach all messed up. But it's unreal, you know? Uh, here's a, a few counties down there that sent you all this help, all these personnel, all these volunteers to help you in your moment of crisis. And a few months later, instead of saying, thank you, Dade Broward, for helping us, you go on there and say, hey, they're full of crime over there! Unbelievable, man. So next time Fort Myers gets hit by a hurricane, what are they going to do? Miami, oh, we're, we're full of crime. We need our police over here to take care of the crime problem we got. That's what I would say. I could just imagine me. Oh, I would love to make that phone call. Hey, man. No, 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 man. You, we, we need our police over here. We have a lot of crime over here. We got we got high Lehigh over here. We need the police. Look at these idiots. They clear all this on the left to make developments. And uh, they knock down all the mangroves. It didn't take two weeks. For air can't come through, and you know, and they don't care. The people that are buying those houses don't. They're not. They don't know what the crap they're buying. They're from New York. You know what I mean? We should, on the way back, we should go through there. Although I'm trying to go north to get back on 64. We'll see if they've opened up the bridge. But you can see on the left, they cleared for hundreds of miles to the left. Not hundreds of miles, but you get the idea. They cleared a whole bunch of area to the left, and. uh knock down all the trees and stuff and we'll see if uh, if this storm surge wakes them up to the idea that maybe you need some freaking mangroves behind the houses you know because they, they didn't want to accept you know that they needed mangroves uh, that wasn't on the radar nope we don't need mangroves they were trying to the, the developers were got the commissioners to remove the preserve land boundaries negro boundaries and uh, they did it so they can build more houses on these properties here you know big time big wigs down there making big moves
big move, man. Big move, big move, big move. Big move, big time move. Big move, 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 the only hurricane damage I've seen is that right there. But you go figure, uh, the closer you get to the coast, the more damage they're going to have. <coughs> but it was hilarious to listen to, you know, Manatee, Manatee people. They're like, you know, I was listening to police. They're like, are we going to send help to Tallahassee? They're like, no, we ain't going to send them crap. They can figure that out themselves. They haven't helped us with anything. <laughs> Bless your heart. You don't help me, I don't help you. And that's the thing about these counties, you know. Counties and municipalities and cities. Uh, you know, one county makes an ordinance to make all the homeless people move to the next community. Now it makes your homegrown problem somebody else's problem. That's not right. Like all these counties that make these ordinances, right? You know, oh, we're going to ban homeless people. No, no panhandling ordinances. Start trespassing the homeless people and arresting them. So the homeless people move to the adjacent county. Hold on, let's backtrack for a minute. That problem didn't start in the in, in their county. It started in your county. So, who do you think should have to fix the homeless problem? You can't just make your problem somebody else's. The state of Texas now uh, try, has shipped 4,000 uh, illegals to New York. Now, hold on for a minute. Those, those They didn't come into New York. They came into Texas. That's your problem. And all these counties now are... Uh, this guy came for his tank. <laughs> All right. These mobile home parks over here flooded, completely flooded. Um, might be worse now than earlier. We'll see. But if it hasn't receded, we're not going to be able to go in there. You know, if it didn't recede, we're not getting in. But it's crazy now how all these states, counties, cities... <coughs> They're trying to make their homegrown problems. Look at the mangroves are flooded. What's this guy doing? He just stopped on the middle of the road down there. That's a homeless camp or something? Oh, he got, oh, they're changing drivers. Okay. You know, but if you have a homegrown illegal problem or homeless problem or crime problem, you can't just ship it to somebody. Like Florida and California have... Both Florida and California have these... Uh, these felony laws, and when somebody's got two felonies, then they move to another state. So all the criminals from California are either in uh, New Mexico or Nevada. Like, hold on for a minute. This isn't Nevada's problem. This isn't New Mexico's problem. This is California's problem. The illegal problem. Back up for a minute. Those illegals didn't cross into New York. They crossed into Texas. So you have a situation now where everybody wants to put the blame on somebody else. You know, everybody wants to put the blame on somebody else. And that's not how things work. You know, you can't just put the blame for your homeless problem on somebody else, on another state or another. No, no, no. that's your homegrown problem. And and that's the solution that a lot of these, uh, you know, states, cities, counties, well, let's just make it somebody else's problem. No, that's not exactly the solution. Guys, this storm surge hasn't re re receded anything from earlier. We were here at 4 in the morning, and uh, it looks about the same as earlier. So there's still storm surge flooding all through here. It might have receded a, a foot, but it's still uh, they're still blocking the entrance to Anna Maria Island. You cannot get in there yet. But there's a lot of flooding here. Okay. Well, that's a drive through Brent, and I want to see if I can get some better photos. Um, there's people here just taking photos, but I'm, I'm actually getting paid. I don't know if there's a place I can park real quick. Um, but this is what it looks like here. Um, it's not even worth beating. Man, not even worth getting out. Probably not. We'll just keep it moving. But you can see the problem. 
storm surge. Um, I just want to ask him if this, did the road get washed out with sand or not. That's the only thing I want to know. Wow. Hey, officer. I'm a full time YouTuber. I'm a full time YouTuber. I uh, just got a question. Did the sand wash over the island or no? Oh, there's, there's no island right now. What do you mean, no island? It's all overflowed. Wow. It's flooded. We're getting another three feet of water. High tide hasn't came through yet? Yeah, it's on its way in. We're getting another three feet by 11. Because we have the full moon tide and then high so, tide on top of that. So on the main road, how much water is a foot or two? Uh, that I have no clue. Okay. So basically Fort Myers Beach part two? Yeah, everything's closed. Wow. I, I lived in Fort Myers Beach during that. Thank you for your time. No problem. Have a good one. Yeah. All right, guys. So as we can see, um, Fort Myers Beach Part Two on Anamory Island, not good, and it's still bad, bad, bad. We will. This will be a. Uh, yeah, it's Anna Maria Fort Myers Beach Part Two. I'm sorry, guys. This is. Dang it, bro. Dang it, man. Dang. You get the idea.